I do have one of the worst deaths I've ever experienced um, on hospice, and I'll tell you the story, then explain why it was so bad and how you could avoid this. It was a young man with a brain tumor. He didn't have much family, but he had many friends. He was young in his 30s, and he was seeking only Eastern medicine. So even though he was coming on hospice in America, a very westernized thing, he specifically asked us to never give him any kind of morphine or any kind of pain medicine, no medicine to help with seizures, basically no modern western medicine. He only wanted herbs and different things. He was working with an herbalist um, for his end of life journey. He only wanted those things. So of course we have to respect what he wants and his friends have to respect what he wants and his friends were there taking care of him day in day out and I was visiting all the time because he had tons and tons of symptoms because he would refuse to take medications that would help the symptoms. For instance, if you have a brain tumor and you have a lot of inflammation, you usually will start having seizures. So you need to be on anti-seizure medications, um, steroids to help with the swelling. There's just a lot of things we can do to help manage those symptoms uh, from that particular disease. And he just refused to take them. Again, I have to respect his journey. We didn't make him take anything. However, he was having uh, tons of symptoms day in, day out. So I was there day in, day out, kind of watching him deteriorate and watching him go through all of this um, pain and suffering. Unnecessarily, in my opinion, however, this is what he wanted. He was continuing to use like cannabis and different waxes and oils to help with symptoms, which didn't seem to be very effective. This basically went on and on and on and on until he died. Uh, his death was not peaceful. He was very, very agitated, frequently having seizures, frequently seeming in pain, moaning, yelling. Um, and there wasn't much we could do because he refused to take medications. And then when he was incompetent to make that choice, his friends were um, obeying his wishes, which was to, even when I'm unconscious, even if I'm doing X, Y, and Z, do not give me medication. I've watched many people die from this specific disease and it didn't have to be this bad. Um, so it was hard to watch him refuse help and refuse care. Again, it's his journey. I have to respect what he wants, uh, what he wanted, but it was really hard for him, for his friends, and for me and everyone else on the case. How can you not do this? You can be open-minded and willing to try things that you um, may think won't work just to see. You know, again, this is his journey. He wanted to do this, but in general, I would say the more open-minded and willing you are to accept and get help, the better you will die.